level one. We'll check when we get in. Anyway, I'm Kranz. Thank you guys for joining me. If you find yourself enjoying the the casting, please do follow the channel. If you find yourself not enjoying the casting, follow the channel anyway. I don't know. It's it's free for you, and it really does help out. Anyway, here we go, guys. Game number two. Whoa. Just a minute or so now until the game starts. Patience. Why, why, H? Just wants a high five. Who do I think will get the first ten kills? Uh, I mean, Photon's lineup is more aggressive. Early game. My god, YYH doesn't even have the Arcana. Why would you? Why are you? Why are you even playing Earth uh, Shaker if you don't have the Arcana? One minute until thirty seconds after battle. Look at the skin flaps. Look at them. They don't even like make sense. They don't like. Like, their positioning on his arm is, like, really weird. First blood. It's all very odd. First blood on the anyway, while we were looking at that, we do see First Blood going the way of Photon Gaming. As I said, very aggressive lineup. Tree, Lestrac, Sand King. And resolve your differences. And that means Luster is able to get the two... What? Man, Madega is a real deep here. I must say, I like the, I kind of like the changes. I like, I like going back and Sue's dead again. Good God, look at these right clicks from Madega here. And there you go. Be, bada bing, bada boom. Another kill going the way of Photon. Is that the second kill on the Sue? Ah, oh, poor Sue. Do drop that sentry wood. But this aspect of this. So, uh, when they did change the nature's... Oh, uh... Well. That's a little bit of awkward. <laughs> when they changed the way this works, you can walk through trees now. It's amazing. It's amazing for escaping people. Yes. The first rule of tree club is don't get punched by the trees. Tomato looking for... Oh, just the TP out. I was like... Oh no, he accidentally used two uh, clarities. That's unfortunate. Dead things actually pushing Jester back under this tower. Nice heads up play there from this Mars. I mean, Jester, and he doesn't have a self, so he's going to have to eat through a lot of his regen to deal with this. I mean, uh, obviously, Life Stealer theoretically should win this lane as he has better sustain. Uh, he can actually he can deal with Mars. But we'll see. We'll see. God, YYH is being the most annoying towards Tomato right now. Ten two incoming. As Photon Gaming never get another kill for the rest of the game. Uh, they're thinking of going on this. I mean, you've got the TP coming in. Medeka is there. Shining YYH has joined, though. And Medeka, he's going to get stunned up. He does have that, uh, nature's guys. But Lustrous, he's going to just have to eat his way through the trees. And they're actually going to be... They just dived so deep 
and they're gonna be fine they get the split earth onto yyh in fact with the diabolic edict this should be enough damage down falls the earth shaker as the earth was ruptured beneath him and he just didn't know how to deal with it nice fake out there from lustrous i like it baiting out uh that last right click of or that attempt at the deny from suit and here we go more kills guys underneath the tower nowhere is safe lustrous though under a lot of trouble yyh comes in with that long range fisher able to help get that kill on to the sand king I honestly think Fat Rat's music pack is probably one of the best ones. Come on, YYH, just take it. YYH is still level one. Sue's dead again. God, the sheer aggression coming out from these supports i mean but i did say that right lishrak sand king tree these are not supports that you pick necessarily or well sand king he's okay late game tree eh, tree is you pick tree to win lanes no blood master. what sort of prize is this how is the top lane going? Okay, we are starting to see Jester get a slight advantage on Deadlings, almost an entire level, in fact. Deadlings going. He got bottle. He got bottle. Ugh. Like, is there a reason to get bottle over solaring as Mars? Like, if you just go solaring into Vlad's rush, you have plenty of regen. I do like the early point in Bulwark, though. Helps deal with the damage. Seth's on. Baby's gonna be able to get a short range zip there to kill him off. Has to wait for the fisher to go away, but it will eventually stop. Come on, Medeka. Oh no, they ah, oh, they saw the sentry wood. They know where you are. They see. How is the, the farm going down here though? 29 and 3 for Shining, 32 and 6 for that Sand King. Mid lane, uh, Tomato is actually beating out Bib. So all in all, all of the, all of the lanes going slightly in favor of Photon here. But it's definitely not like a, a landslide by any sense of the imagi- sense of the word. Got some more fights, some more stuns, and Sue, with no stuns, he knows there's absolutely nothing he could do there to save Shining. Deadly's gonna just uh, reconnect here pretty quickly. And so Zan saying they need wards. They are, everyone needs wards, right? Right, guys? I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing, like literally nothing Sue could have done there to help out, uh, to help him out. Photon losing late? I don't think so. A 
Oh my god, I can chroma key Dota. Okay, quick guys, pick a color to be removed from the game. What color do we want not in the game? Jester. It's hard here, but Shining comes up. Rage TP, he should be able to get out. There's just not enough damage. Of course that spear's not gonna be able to hit. Rage was still going on. Red, green. Killing spree. I feel I, I feel like green's going to look really silly. Let's try that first. It's it's definitely not going to be permanent, right? Because it shouldn't. It won't like you won't see the game back top. You'll just see like black. I think. Okay, let's get it following a hero first. Dyer's top tower is being attacked. I need a new mouse. The buttons on my mouse have stopped working. No, the buttons are working. There we go. Weird. Okay. Color type green. Did it work? It didn't work. Oh wait, that's because I'm on the wrong one. Middle tower is being attacked. Welcome to messing with with uh, OBS with cramps. Middle tower is taking damage. I feel like that green. Ah! <laughs> that was way too high. I'm trying to get like the actual green. I feel like it works better if we look at one of these heroes. Dota. This is Dota set in like 30 years in the future. All of the plants are dead. Everything that is happy is gone. Anyway, they've got another uh, kill going here onto Shining. Dead things who pops the arena of blood. They're looking for the kill onto Seth Zahn. They're going to be able to find it. Maybe the zip in from Bib. Seth Zahn eventually falls. And now Lustrous he may have gone in a little bit too far. And so it's going to be a one for two. Yes, post-apocalyptic Dota. That's what we are seeing right now. Okay, let's see what it looks like if we take out red. Custom. Select color. Now this is just weird. <laughs> I didn't realize there was so much red in Dota. Alright, there we go. We have to edit it a bit. Okay, enough of this. Tower taking damage. That was fun. I'll mess with it later. We've got a fight going on here. Living armor. Going to give Lustrous a few more precious seconds to scuttle away. They've got the overgrowth. He'll have Burrow Strike. Um, and he's actually going to be able to live. Thanks to a little bit of help from his team. Fix this shit. Man! Come on, we're all just having a little bit of fun here. So he used Phantasm for that, and they don't even get the kill, and now Medeka turns around, they get the slow on to Sue, the Arena of Blood, it is going to stun up that tree and protector. the Global Silence comes out as well, they've turning this around, Sue, is he going to be able to survive? No, he won't. 
Sefzan actually gets that kill from the grave. Or from, wait, way long. I think that was just a right click. But they do get the kill nonetheless. Another one for two trade. Dude, pulling out. Uh, wait, that was totally something. Two, six, and three. I mean, anyone that without an escape mechanism is dead in this game right now. Like you saw, you saw Shining die to the combo too. It's just easier to kill off the silencer. I don't know why all of you are so convinced that every single one of these games are match fixed. Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. And if you are that convinced about it, the easiest way to avoid it is you just don't that first thing. Anyway, pushing the access on. They get the kill. Arena of blood being used to great success from dead things. Oh, tomato run. Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. Ooh, blink dagger completed by YYH here. Lustrous might be in a little bit of trouble. He can't exactly kill off dead things here. What is dead things going for? Drums, it looks like? But there you go. Silencer, dead yet again. Just trying to get some vision down. Unfortunately, runs into a couple of very angry, angry neighbors. That's a lot. Oh my god. Kill. I thought there was going to be a fight. There wasn't a fight. There was a massacre. As three dead in the top lane from Photon Gaming. At last. Dyer's top tower is that global silence. Dyer have fortified their towers. Just allowing them to get off at the perfect combo onto the three members of Photon. We're just looking, they were innocently looking for a kill there, but Blink Dagger says no such thing. Dyer's top tower is under siege. Dyer's top tower is under siege. Stupendous! Tomato is Yasha. I'll take your tribute. Blink Yasha. I wonder if his <sighs> Blink Yasha feels weird. Maybe his next item will be Dessa. What does Bib have? He's got Kaya going. He's almost got a Bloodstone. In fact, 1,600 gold away from it. Silencer. He's got himself some brown boots. I'm sorry. I completely forgot to change to net worth. So Bib is at the top. Tomato is going for that uh, Deso now. Just getting the Yasha to farm a little bit faster. Jester. Almost completed with the Radiance as well, and they kill off dead things. With a little bit of help from Sefzan, that massive amount of magical damage, they get the open wounds onto Soup. Split Earth comes out as well, as Shining going to be able to scuttle his way away. And do we turn this into a push? It doesn't look like we are going to.
What does Illustrious have? Veil of Discord. Uh, yeah. So, like, I like this, right? They saw the Mars pickup. And th they dealt with it pretty easily. Yeah, spear into the wall. YYH, um. Real strike. Spear coming in. Echo Slam being dropped as well. Lustrous still somehow alive. He's. There's a sentry ward. And so Dead Things is going to be able to get that uh, double kill for himself. He went Rod of Atos. Now look, guys. Rod of Atos. On Mars. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean... It seems good. It's good. You, It's easier to get your spears off. I mean, spear isn't the hardest stun to hit, though. Like, literally, the, the, the hitbox for the spear is pretty generous. You Atos his friend. Kill Atos, you. Steph's on going to be slaughtered there. Sue gets that last hit. Uh, Diabolic, or... Yep, Diabolic Edict still kind of ticking out, but not going to be doing too much to the heroes. Jester trying to chase down Shining there, but with a little bit of help from that armlet toggle, going to be able to withstand the onslaught from the Life Stealer. Whose farm is whose? There's much fighting going on. Tomato has finished off this death, so. Jumps in, Dead Veins in a lot of trouble. Sue goes down. Medeka's going to be the next target. A Blink Dagger is up in five, but not going to need it. And your Bulwark, it does nothing if you are running away. So they're going to be able to turn that into two kills here. And Tomato has hit this power spike timing, right? Blink, Deso, Yasha, and it is time to be getting on the map and putting this to use. No more middle tower. Sefzan gets the tier 1 tower in the mid lane. Shining, thinking about going in onto this. Split Earth, the long range zip from Biv, trying to find the kill onto the Slishrek. But the living armor, it does buy him a little bit of time. Now Lustra's gonna be caught by that uh, static vortex. They will be able to kill off YYH. Biv, two attacks, that's all you really need from Tomato. Well, make that three or four as the Bloodstone ticks through. Forgot that he has a bloodstone. It makes you very tanky. 2,500 HP. Sue, Tomato actually blinks away. Can he make it out now? Dead Zane's looking for the kill. They know where he is. They've dropped the sentry ward. And there's the Atos. Uh, well, thanks. Dead Zane's. Thanks, Dead Zane. Just a free trip down to the low ground. Jester though, he's gonna go for the rage TP. Global silence does nothing to. St Has Deadlings played Mars? No, I mean I'm sure Deadlings is a far better Mars player than me. And, and I get it, like he's got the mana regen now, right? With the with the Atos, giving him what is it? Twenty intel. So he's got the mana to play with, but like some of these, some of these plays he's going for are like the lowest success plays. <coughs> Look, all Sue wants is a goddamn ward up here, and every time he steps up these stairs, Sefzon and Tomato are there to greet him. Mars has 8k net worth. I, I kind of feel like Mars needs to just go jungle a little bit. Uh, he has finished off the lads. Maybe go jungle, finish off that, that Blink Dagger. He's pretty far behind. We're up to a 6k gold lead for Photon Gaming. Mm -hmm. 
damage. Uh, excuse me. Medeka, he's trying to get in range. Whoa, they get it. Overgirl's coming out to stop any sort of zip away. And pop! Goes the storm spirit. Tomato on the chase will get hit by the Atos of Dead Things. The spear also get, granting them quite a bit of space. And run as fast as Jester might. He's not going to be able to close that gap in time. He has a Manta style in 500 gold. This is the weirdest route to buy a Manta style I have ever seen. He is going backwards. He got the Manta, he got the ultimate orb, the Manta recipe, and finally after that is getting that Yasha. So, one thing people don't really mention about Mars is how utter garbage he is versus uh like how how so oh, never mind we'll talk about this after the ta dies bkb gets used actually never mind ta is gonna be fine uh but how how garbage mars is in the uh for, with the the spear of mars versus illusions because it can stun an illusion instead of a hero is the way it works. Hey, Popcorn Yellow, how's it going? Uh, we got a pretty big update. Every hero in the game now has an Aghanim's upgrade. Uh, Team Secret continues to win every single goddamn tournament they enter. And now we have, we have Mars and Wisp back in Captain's mode. So that's pretty cool. The Jester, he's got the Mantis style now. I'm not quite sure. Next item could be Basher. Uh, no, I don't know. They don't really need Basher, do they? What would a good next item for the Life Stealer be? Nullifier? Nullifier wouldn't be terrible. What have they found here? They find dead things and they make dead things and dead things. Dip forward from Div, he just wants the rune. Sephson was like, yeah, I can. Stupendous. You can let the uh, Luscious get these. Someone else, maybe. But Div, he just snags them out from underneath their faces. They find the kill on Tomato. Oh, tomato! Uh, if anything, that is a rage buyback if I have ever seen one. Instantly buying back and into the jungle. Big long range zip on Zephzon. They are going in hard for this, but here is the overgrowth. Oh wait, he doesn't have mana for overgrowth. Bib, he's going to be able- No, he's out of mana himself. He's dead. Lustrous, he kills him off. Radiant's bottom tower is being attacked. There are so many traps in here. Does the damage from these traps stack? God, this, the hit that box on that spear is ridiculous. Tomato, he does snag the Aegis, so he's going to be, have a little bit of safety from just dying again there. Uh, Stone's Spirit down to 12 charges on that Bloodstone. Blink BKB is coming up from Mars. Or is queued up for him, I'm sorry. Shining has a uh, Manta queued up. So I know this doesn't really come into effect, but I'm pretty sure when you Reality Rift, it pulls the illusions from wherever they are on the map. All of your illusions. So it's actually kind of hilarious with, um, 
illusionaries and stuff. Unless they've changed it. They may have changed it. You know, things are always possible. What is this face on this Chaos Knight? Helm of the Dark Conquer. Radiance Middle Tower is being attacked. Diamond Tower is being attacked. Tomato. Phantom Green. Why is everyone building their items backwards? First item, Demon Edge for this Daedalus. I is confused. Oh, who have they found? They find Seth Zahn. They get him stunned to the tree. They should... <laughs> That was some terrible stacking of CC, but eh, if it, they do have the damage output, they were able to get the kill onto that Lishrak. Double kill. And I wasn't paying attention. Bib gets another kill. I'm lustrous. That is, of course, a uh, reality refuse, or not reality, phantasm being used. So that will be on. That's a really long cooldown for a Sand King kill. Obviously, they do have to be a bit worried about that Aegis, so they are just trying to buy themselves a little bit of space needed. Allow them to get the tier 1 tower, as you don't want to be fighting 3v5 as Photon Gaming. What does Tomato have? Goes for the Bash. Shouldn't be enough for him to kill off Bib, but it is going to be a hell of annoying. Oh, wait. Well, there you go. You got him. You got him. Just not respecting the amount of damage the level 25 T TA is going to be doing. However, Jester. Falls victim to the three-man gank up top. Who's all level 20 here? Anyone? Is anyone even level 20? Okay. He is. He went for 30 attack speed. On the other side. Tomato kills off YYH yet again. The lifestealer went for 20% evasion. Pretty smart. 90 damage. Because, you know, Tree doesn't hit hard enough. He's hitting for 240 damage a swing. Jesus. 40 Sandstorm DPS for Lustrous. And, of course, TA. Level 25 went from Meld to Spells. Okay, Meld to Spells is actually pretty decent. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Meld to Spells is decent in this game. Shining has hit level 20. Doesn't go for reality rift pierces spell immune. I'm a little surprised. Instead, devotes himself to 150. I mean, it is 150 gold a minute. That's a lot of money. So... Apparently, lore-wise, Treant Protector is, like, not even a special guy amongst the Treant Protectors. He's just one of them. Who's been sent out into the world to see what's going on. From the Sacred Grove. Here I am. Also, okay, Bib. God. Just, they just can't get any damage down onto Jester, but they are able to now that the rage has worn off The stuns are coming out of plenty. Is it gonna be enough? It is the overgirl just a little too late and now Madeka might be in a bit of trouble But tomatoes coming in they're looking for him. He pops his BKB already Laundry zip coming in Madeka is gonna get deleted from the map 
And Tomato is going to be able to fall back, get out of there. So they don't lose anything more, but Jester does not have buyback. He just finished off his AC. Up, oh, Lustrous, he overstepped a little bit. What was I gonna say as we watched the tier 3 tower die? Oh yeah, Tree and Protector also probably responsible for killing all of, um, an entire town, basically. He, he killed the entirety of Timbersaw's town. All of it. Every single person in it, except Timbersaw, died. So... What a nice tree he is. They have the control on a bit, but he is going to actually get that zip away before the Rod of Atos is able to connect. Ooh, that's Scotty for Chaos Knight, as well as an Aghanim Scepter being picked up by YYH. It's why it's why Timbersaw doesn't trust trees. It's because the trees destroyed his town. Oh, the BKB. There's just no saving tomato. Picks up that moonshard. Just finds the pickoffs they need. They're trying to draw this out a little bit. Get Jester up a little bit more farm. Get him into that abyssal blade. Dyer's bottom tower is being attacked. What is Treant's name? I can't remember. Roof Roof Trellin, that's it. He's going to be able to jump out once. Can he get out again? Lustrous in a little bit of trouble. Nice echo slam there. But it is going to be canceled out. However, they found the kill tomato. There's just so much damage from this Chaos Knight. Looking for more. Jester, his TP. He's going for the rage. And Medeka, he throws out. Oh, God, he's dead. He throws out that Overgirl just to make sure that Jester is able to get back out of there, but Jesus Christ. The amount of damage you can output from a Chaos Knight. And then with Manta as well, Refraction never stands a chance. Refraction blocks how many instances? Six. Chaos Knight will have over six instances of damage. Because it summons three. It doesn't does it still have dead beans? Of course he just Jester, he just can't damage him. Now Jester, he's in a little of trouble. The Manta dodge there, but YYH is in the neighborhood with the Fisher. Lustrous trying to catch up, but not gonna be able to. Shiva's completed now on the storm spear. Goes in, on steps on, YYH is here as well. Shining joins the party. Living armor doing what it can, but they just don't have the damage. Happy center, that's pretty nice. Shining's dead. The buyback on steps on. Sue goes down as well. If they can somehow find Bib, they get the overgirls onto him. But there is the arena of blood as well as another Fisher. Medeka now in a lot of trouble. YYH jumping in for more. Lustrous, he does get the burrow strike out onto dead things. He has to use his BKB. Sefson, he's got the Diabolic Edict coming in, but YYH, he's looking for his opportunities. Gets another Fisher out. And they just cannot do anything. This Earthshaker is absolutely changing the flow of this game. He may be the seventh net worth, or eighth net worth in the game. 
but he is so impactful. But when he's not there, they can find the kills. They kill off dead things, and Roche number two looks to be going the way of Photon Gaming. Their lead is down to only a 5k lead, but with this Aegis, with this cheese, anyone want the cheese? Cheese? Tomatoes like pine, I guess. I'll take the cheese. Uh, the cheese is actually terrible on, on tomato, though. Because he's either dead within the time of a stun, or he's safe. It, there's like no in between for this TA in this game. Storm Spirit is level 25, of course goes for the 500 distance auto remnant. Anyone else 25? Uh, Jester? Two second rage duration, obviously. I honestly wouldn't... This is one game where I honestly wouldn't actually mind to see Lifestealer go for a BKB, as weird as it is. If you have 18 seconds of spell immunity though, how do they kill you? It's going to be so hard. He's almost finished with this Abyssal Blade. Oh, but YYH! He knows he doesn't have to be the one dealing the damage. He picks up an Aeon Disc. He is just there to lay out the fissures, make sure that he can save his buddies that need saving. And Arena of Blood being used there. BKBs popped on both sides. Tomato trying to chase this down. Does he have a meld? He does have it, but the perfect... Oops. Erps! Erps. But again... Enchant Totem away, the Bash hits him, procs the Aeon Disc, and now Lustrous is on the retreat, and Fisher, Long Range Fisher, leap in! They're gonna get the stun onto this Sand King, but they just don't have the follow-up damage, and now Dead Things, he's gonna get caught by Bash's Tomato finishes off that Mars, he's dead for 82 seconds! They find Bib, do they have the damage here? Bash! Damage! Damage? There's no zip. He's got a little tiny short range one. YYH again. Always where exactly where he needs to be. But they either want to get a lane of racks of their own or they want to uh, force out this buyback. Someone, someone's going to have to deal with this though. They're losing tier four towers. They didn't even get their X. They literally... Oh, it's got 17 HP. In this case, do you deny the tier 4 tower? Is this one of the rare cases where you deny a tier 4? I mean, it's got 17 HP. Tomato, Aegis, nice Lotus Orb there, reflects the stun. On to Chaos Knight, they are able to pop that Aegis, but now Shining being forced out to the other side. Oh my god, there are so many illusions, but Baneka comes in in the nick of time with that Overgrowth. They've killed off the Chaos Knight. He's dead for 90. I don't know if Eclipse can hold this. Echo Slam, Arena of Blood, it's dealing all of the damage. The cheese comes out for Tomato. Epicenter going through, but YYH with the jumps in, the jumps out. Dead means he's got a retreat, but he's getting bashed up. The bash is non-stopping the bulwark. He gets the last second spear out, but the burrow strike able to kill them off. They've killed off Lustrous, though. They're holding. Somehow. Eclipse. Poking and prodding, trying to get Photon out of their base. The Zip's coming through Tomato. If he dies here, that will be pretty, pretty big. Bib, he's out of mana. They're going to be able to get this next set of racks, but that is all Photon can get. Eclipse, their base, it is in tatters, but they hold on.
Hey, eight, eight the moon shard. What's he getting? We got. We we went ahead, picked up the agonims. So he's going to get that AOE electric vortex. It's actually a pretty big AOE too. What is Tomato building? How is Tomato dealing all of this damage without items? Okay, going for Butterfly. God, 1,000 crits. Shining needs a heart. He doesn't need this. He needs a heart. Because what the problem, what's happening right now is he pops Phantasm and then Tomato just two shots all of his illusions. As weird as it is, this 4K HP Chaos Knight needs more HP. <laughs> Dead thing, gotta be careful here. The experience is literally dead even right now. What does Total Plus say? 64% in favor of Photon. Top tower is under siege. Anyone else at 25 that we haven't talked about? YYH is getting close. What does he go for? Probably minus two enchant totem cooldown to this game. High fives coming out. It's hard to push into a, a level 25 storm. Well, that happened. We'll see if Dead Beans is able to survive this. He has to use his VKB. But. Dude, just gonna go out, push the waves out again, but Jester doesn't care. He is now all by himself there. Okay, nice AoE, Electric Vortex. The spear, the BKBs mean spear hits absolutely nothing. Dead Beans, he turns around, he's trying to use that bulwark to stand and fight against Jester, but the bash! Dead Beans, he actually does make it back up. They've lost their racks though, that means Megas coming this way. The Overgrowth, Shining, still trying to fight this. Luster's going to be pushed out a little bit. He does get speared back into the Fissure though. The Sand King gets off one last a burrow strike sets on dropping very low bib loses his life he has buyback will use it instantly the life stealer they've got the control are they going to be able to kill him off they can he's dead 100 seconds what more can they find yyh jipping and jumping through he is going to be able to get that yule scepter but he's rooted up he cannot get the enchant totem off another aoe electric vortex they pull everyone in they're going to be able to kill off the ta Sefzan, he's got the BKB Pulse Nova. Everyone on Eclipse is so low. Sue trying to get out of this. Death Beans is going to die. Sue is not going to. It's a wipe buyback from the TA. But the Mega Creeps are flooding into the base of Eclipse. What a game, guys. 36 to 32 is the kill score. Roche number three is up. It's always got the bloody refresher shot. I want to see the global TA. Where is our TA ag agonims, guys? Does not have the... He doesn't have the space. He just... He denies the cheese. So the refresher shard, judged to be of more importance. I, you could have just left like your boots. You got two pair of boots, man. You could have left one of them there and sent the courier in to get them. Feel like that cheese. There are some people that would have liked to have that cheese, like last year, but a little bit worried about giving away anything to Eclipse here that will help them come back into this. Illusion.
but they can hold this. Uh oh. Run! Dining on the run. He has to use his BKB, and they actually, with that, he's going to turn around and fight this Medeka. But there is the epicenter coming through. They've already killed off Medeka. He buys back instantly. They're trying to get out. They're happy enough with that buyback, but they had to use Phantasm for that. That's a long cooldown 135 seconds. They've got to get back. They've got to defend against these mega creeps. Dead Veins is actually really good against defending against Mega Creep. Like, they've got the team. They've got the squad to hold off against Megas. You can see this, Dead Veins. He wants his level 25 real bad. Level 25. What does he go for? Does he go 80% crit or the 300 or the 100 HP regen in Arena of Blood? Jester. He's coming in. He went. Come on, pick, 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 pick. Okay, they're just going for buildings. He goes for the the, the God's Rebuke crit. Epicenter being used. They're trying to kill off Sefzon before he can get that BKB pops, but they can't do it. And now Jester Shining is there with the AoE. Jester, he pops his rage. They have to use that. Oh God, Duster is able to Burrow Strike out of the ring. They, he is going to die. They've killed off Sefzon. Jester, he's just not doing the damage. Medeka, the AoE. Vortex, it's doing a lot. They're trying to kill off somebody. They pop the Aegis. And now Jester are going to be able to chase down Sue. But Tomato is back up. They pull him back in. And the crits, the stuns. He's dead, 120. They're trying to chase down Jester now. But there, is the spear it just hits an illusion. The rage comes out. He does not have a TP. Epicenter coming through. Lust just, just trying to buy time. YYH, he didn't go. He went for the 50% magic resistance. And now they've got the control forward onto Lustrous. Burrow Strike to the other side of the Fissure. YYH is on the chase, though. They've got another zip forward. And he is going to end up going down here. Slowly but surely, it's four dead. None of them have buyback. But can Eclipse push across this map? We've got 90 seconds until Lustrous is back alive. Jester, does Jester have buyback? Jester needs a, a thousand gold for buyback. Open wounds onto Sue. He has Abyssal Blade, so he should be able to get this kill onto this Silencer. So that's going to buy them a little bit of space at least. 115. But your ancient... You have two buildings left in your whole base. One of them is at 400 HP, and the other is your Ancient. Yes. Okay, they have the root on the bin here. If they can kill him off. Stun. Oh, YYH! Absolute madman, but there is the Atos. Can Bib get out of here? He gets the zip TP. Oh my god. YYH on this Earthshaker saving the game for Eclipse. I'm over here. If Bib had died there. Oh. So buyback status is uh, none. <laughs> okay, we actually have three buybacks on the side of the clip. But no buyback for Sue, no buyback for Bib. Buybacks are starting to come off of cooldown. <laughs> tomato, tomato, he's doing it. He's going for the, the, the global TA guys, the global TA. Are you ready? Photon Gaming smoked up, they're looking for a kill, but we're so late in this game that no one is an easy target. They find Shining, can they get the bashes, the damage? Holy balls, he just evaporates. 
has to buy back instantly. Who did the most damage there? Life Stealer, 1900 damage somehow. With uh, that pop out. Did they use the refresher shard already? Oh yeah, they used they used refresher on the Shrek. That's right. They were trying to just burst down these buildings, and so double diabolic edict is pretty powerful. Oh, sorry, Aziki, I forgot to turn on my bot. Uh, Eclipse won game number one. If you if you can see them, the pips up on the top will indicate it. Usually, they're pretty accurate. Sometimes they're on the. Oh. Okay, jump in. Burrow Strike only hits illusions. Sue on the run. They have that Yule Scepter trying to buy him time. They get the stun. The Global Silence comes out. Can they kill off this TA? They can. Silence. Buyback just came up. What is this game, guys? What is this game? Has anyone else hit 25? Lustrous. It's the blink away, but YYH, he will keep this chase going. Burrow Strike, YYH doesn't see him. He's got a gem to clear out this vision. He's still chasing. Okay, Sefzan went for the 40 Diabolic Edict Explosion. And, oh my gosh. What? Who have they found here? Burrow Strike forward if they can kill off YYH, but there is the Arena of Blood. Locking down the Sand King. Echo Slam going to be used, but I don't think Eclipse can get any kills. They're going to have to retreat, fall back. Oh wait, Medeka going to get stunned up again, but Jester has arrived. The epicenter coming through. YYH is dead. They're going to be able to kill off Medeka. Buyback from Dead Beans. Buyback from YYH. The gem is still sitting on the ground. YYH is back in this. He's got the crowd control. Lustrous, he's going to be able to force staff himself to the other side. Shining is taking the damage. He's dead, 120. But then he showed up. Seth's on, he doesn't have BKB. Jester uses the rage and they're gonna be able to pick up this gem. Get out of there. But that's two of them dead. I don't know. Do they push? Oh, Seth's on. YYH recovers his gem actually. Finds, oh God, you've gotta be careful here. YYH is playing with fire. He may be very, very mobile. But just one wrong turn and he could potentially go down. Oh. Okay. Maybe we have a little bit of time to talk about uh, anything. Sue, what did he go for level 25? 20% Glaives of Wisdom damage. Lustrous, the 50% Sandstorm, Slow, and Blind Medeka. Only level 21 went for the two second nature's guys. This is Aegis, Cheese, and Agonems. And Refresher. Who did they give the eggs to? TA just took that egg. She doesn't need to buy one anymore. We now have Global TA guys. Psionic Projection online. But only has one Psionic Trap on the map. Not even sure where it is. They're going in. They don't have Lustrous. Dead Beam's going to pop his BKB. Can't really stand here, though. Jester, just going to be able to walk through that. Dead Beam's, if he dies here, he is, in fact, a Dead Beam for 125 seconds. The Echo Slam being used, but Jester, he's just going for the building. With the double, with the double Diabolic Edict going on, this is a lot of damage. They're trying to finish him off, but the Ancient, it is gone. 